Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, The Black Widow here and you are here at The Widow's Web. Uh, so today is the long awaited £600 mystery box from Portsmouth Tarantulas. Uh, so I picked this up at the BTS. It's been a couple of days from the BTS, although you will, you won't see this for a couple of weeks after the BTS because um, I've moved house. As you can see, I am in my new house. So we are going to jump into this video. I want to start off by just saying I have already opened the box. I opened the box while at the BTS in my car. It's a very expensive mystery box. I wanted to make sure that everything was alive and well before leaving the BTS so that I could sort out with Portsmouth Tarantulas if there was anything that had gone wrong, um, just to save them some um, discomfort and myself from messaging back and forth if there was a problem. Thankfully, there was not a problem. All I can say is that they did fantastic. They propagated this to, to me, to what I want. Um, so I hope you guys really, really enjoy this video. Do comment down below if you enjoyed this video. This will be the last mystery box I think that I will ever be buying. Uh, hence why I'm kind of doing it, uh, going out on a bang, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, do go ahead and share this video. I would love, and it's not about the video for me. It's, you know, let people see what Portsmouth Tarantulas can do. Share this video for me, share it with your friends, Point them in Portsmouth Tarantula's direction, along with all the other amazing sellers like The Spider Sharp, Venomous Visions, Andy at So Many Legs. There's just so many of them. Um, but yeah, Portsmouth Tarantula's have definitely blown it out of the water when it comes to mystery boxes. So let's jump into this video and I will show you what I got. It's time. Okay, so we are about to jump into these mystery boxes and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to show you the first box. This here was designed and drawn by someone at Portsmouth Tarantulas. I'm really sorry if I've forgotten your name, but he's incredible at this kind of uh, drawing. This is going to be cut out and kept. So that was box one. Box two doesn't have a drawing on it, but yes, there were two boxes to contain my £600. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, this video is going to be two parts, but you'll only see it as one video. Because after opening it up and figuring out what I had, um, I don't have the enclosures for everything, so I will have to rush out and get everything that I need. Uh, but I do have two that I can rehouse right now, but again, for you guys, it's just going to be one whole video because we'll do a... We'll do a time jump to the next part of the video. So, oh, okay. I know that I've seen what's in here, but it's still just as exciting. And I just, they just completely, it's overwhelming what, what I have got. So, let's go ahead and pull out the first one in this big box. Okay. So here, oh, hello, sweet girl. So here... You can probably see this is a beautiful Postletheria Metallica female. Oh my god. Um, I have a mature male. They obviously um, they obviously saw that I was looking for a female and wow, I mean honestly, she's incredible. I'll get some close-ups of before. And she was a hundred and ten pounds sorry she's not liking the light very much sorry girl she was a hundred and ten pounds she's a nice size and uh, I will get you some close-ups in a bit so that's just I mean it's funny because this first box when you see everything that was in this first box I personally think that that would have been enough that that would have been enough I didn't need the second box but I'm happy that I got the second box. Okay, this one really blew me away. This is another Arboreal. You're probably not going to be able to see this one until I show you um, a clip of it. So this is the P species Akaya, which I'll show you here, look. Uh, I think it's pronounced something like Formigachylus species Akaya. Uh, bamboo tree spider or something like that. She's actually, and again, this is a female, and she's just here 
oh my god i can't tell you how absolutely stunning she is and she's a good good size as well she was 180 so she was more expensive than the metallica female so that is already 290 pounds just for these females um wow that honestly they really really did their work when it came to what what i wanted what i was looking for so i i couldn't be happier okay so i also got in this box which i'm not going to show on the camera because well i'll show on the camera but i'll show it at the end i did get a burrowing scorpion as well which was really really cool and i had bought one from andy as well and they're both adults so i'm hoping that one is male and one is female because we might potentially have some kind of breeding there so that's fantastic right so now we're going to move on to some terrestrials and this one whoo i cannot even tell you how happy i am lucy from lucy's little critters was with me when i opened this in my car i'm sorry if you guys think that that ruins the surprise for you but my concern is the tarantulas not the video that sounds really mean but my concern is the tarantulas not the video in here oh is a beautiful brachypalma classy female adult female by the looks of it and you're probably not going to be able to see her very well i'll get some better pictures but she's big girl she's a big girl and she likes to kick hairs at me she was 90 pounds i'll put the total up at the end we won't add it all up in our heads because it's definitely worth more okay this is another absolute cracker this is an absolute cracker and it is not a species that i have kept before and they have always always caught my eye and for some reason i just never because well i know why because they're so expensive for a start is why i never bought one but i have one and wow i mean i was not expecting this okay so here and this is another female okay this is another adult female we have an exenthus species white Ah, oh, and she's huge she's huge and she's a massive grump i mean she has struck at the container when i've been like you know checking on her and things i'll get some close-ups but oh my god crazy so yeah in there posithyria metallica p species achaia exenthus species white Brachypalma classy and burrowing scorpion. All females. Not sure about the burrowing scorpion, but I'm sure we can figure out a way to do that. So that was in the first box, along with Portsmouth Tarantula's keychain, which will be going straight on my um on my thing. And we have another one here on my keys, obviously. So that was box one. Now I'm gonna be honest, after opening box one, I thought it can't really get much better than that i mean really i mean what what else what else could you put in there that i would have just been happy with that but i guess for expense purposes to make my box worth a 600 pound mystery box they did me a mini second box just a little one but oh my god yeah my voice just went really really high and that is because it's it's kind of scary guys it's kind of scary i'll start with um the spider that might give you a clue what else might be in there so we'll start with the smallest one that was in this package this is a a brieri i cannot pronounce it 60 pounds little sling where is it little little diddy sling is just there really really nice species i had one a really really long time ago a sling it unfortunately died um but i will take good care of this one so that was in there really another amazing little addition this was in here another absolute oh it's mad it's really really mad it's got its butt well up in the air it's not happy i'll show you it's this is a this is a beast of a female this is a pamphobetus species flammifera female 110 again not something that i've kept before i'm not going to tip the pot up because she'll she'll topple but i'll show i'll i'll you know the drill i'll get you some close-ups guys and last but definitely not the least the holy grail of 
animals, of monsters, of nightmares, but also of pure wonder and fascination. And that would be the Amazon giant, yes, giant centipede. And holy mother of... It's huge. It may not look it here, but wait until we rehouse this one. Wow. Okay, so we are going to rehouse to start with the Brachypalma Classy. So let's just put her in like this. And I'll get some close-ups of her, obviously, when she comes out. Let's take this... Let's take this lid off. Oh, look at her. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wowza. Look at the pink. I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier with that. She is incredible. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of her and then we will um, carry on with the rehouse. Okay, so now we actually need to try and get her out and I'm not sure how she's going to respond. She's kicked hairs at me a few times. Okay. It's a good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's a bit skittish. Come on. There we go. That. that is one beautiful spider, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to get the lid in case she decides to bolt, but I don't think she will. Wow. Bracky Palma Classy, female, nicely rehoused. Okay, so this one I'm a little bit more cautious about doing just because the Postetheria metallica female is pretty uh, fast moving and a bit, a little bit sketchy, um, but we will, we will do our absolute best to not freak her out too much. Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, she completely freaks and bolts. But let's see if I can get a pretty shot of her first. Right, let's zoom all the way in, look, like this. And I'll get the light on her. Whoa, holy crap. She is beautiful. Okay, now I haven't 100% thought about how I'm going to do this without her bolting. So let's just do what we can, what we always do, which is just be super, super cautious. I don't really know what kind of temperament she has because I'm not gonna lie, I've never really poked at her before. Come on. Oh, she's pretty. Come on. Oh, good girl. There we go. There we go. Very calm. And um, let's just see if I can. Wow. Okay, let me show her to you guys. Because let's be real about this, guys. The chances are is you're never going to see this girl again once she figures out where her burrow is, her tunnel, sorry, she's probably never going to come out again. But wow, check her out. She is the definition of incredible. Okay, so in here is where I'm gonna keep the Exenthus species white. Uh, this will be a temporary enclosure because it's an exoterra and I'm not a fan of these great big exoterras. I prefer other enclosures over this one, but this is all I have for such a big girl at the moment. So all we're going to do 
is we're going to put her in here like this. She has been fairly grumpy on the few occasions that I have sort of had to interact with her. Let's get some light on her so that you guys can have a look at how beautiful she is. Right. Some cameras. Look at how pretty she is. Pretty, pretty girl. So that is an Exenthus species white. Okay, let's get back to the rehousing now. Okay. Now I'm not 100% sure how this will go because she can be fairly grumpy. But that is why we have some tongs. Let's see if I can without her biting. Come on. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Come on. Up you go. Out you get. Up and out. Up and out. There we go. Whoa. All right. Jeez. Out you come. Oh, she's a big girl. Although she looks diddy in this enclosure. Wow. Even though she is a good hand span, she's... Stop freaking out. So here she is in her enclosure. And I'll show you a better look at the enclosure. So it's just an exoterra. But yeah, she won't be staying in here for very long. But I wanted to get this video out. So I needed to rehouse her so that she could have a nice water bowl and a hide and just less stress than being in a tub. Yes, so pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna rehouse the Pamphobetus species Flamifera female. Hopefully this will go, because these is the other ones, although she, I'm not gonna lie, is a bit, she's a bit touchy. Let's just put her in like this. And we'll zoom you guys in. Okie doke. That's probably as good as I'm going to get. And now let's lift off the lid. Come on. See if I can get a close look at her. So, she is a very, very big brown spider. So let's, let's zoom back out. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna place the lid on. There we go. So you should be able to see what she's doing now. So let's give her a little touch. Oh, Jesus. That was... She is angry. And now I actually need to touch her to get her out. your hide there we go okay so last but definitely not least we are going to rehouse the species Achaia P species Achaia and I haven't fully figured out how I want to do this because it is an old world it isn't very nice so let's We'll do it exactly how we did the pokey. So we'll take this lid off. I'll give her a poke, and uh, I'll show you when we're when she's out. This beauty here is the P uh, P species Akaya female. She is beautiful. Yes, she is, and she gave me no trouble. Okay, so now we are going to rehouse the beast that is the Amazon giant centipede. And uh, I get asked a lot if I get nervous when I um, house centipedes and things because, I mean, let's be honest, they're, they're not exactly the friendliest of animals. 
but the answer is no I don't get nervous because I don't do silly things with my animals I tend to just you know rehouse them in the most simplest manner so I'm just trying to take off all this sticky tape which I have put over the top just to contain the centipede a bit better sorry little guy or girl so I'm just going to loosen the lid so I'm just going to loosen the lid like that then I'm going to place it like this okay so that is the Amazon giant centipede I don't think it's full grown yet okay so I'm going to put the lid on a big centipede and when he did come out he came springing out here it is So that guys concludes the £600 mystery box. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it wasn't very exciting rehouse, but you know how it goes with me. My stuff is usually fairly calm, can't be helped. Uh, so yeah, do go ahead and comment if you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my Portsmouth Tarantula mystery box and I will see you guys next time.